All right, what is up, everybody? Welcome to another edition of Dropping Bombs with me, your host, Corey Baumeister. Today, bringing you another uh, trophy match episode. I, once again, didn't have a ton of time to make a lot of individual YouTube content, but if I'm 4 in a league, I will bring you the trophy match. Trophy matches will be on this channel, so if I'm ever playing for a trophy, you're going to see it. Uh, we're doing quite well. Only lost two games so far. Um, and this is still Just Guy Breach, you know? I mean, this is this is the deck I'll be playing in Modern until it gets banned or Brothers War comes out and it changes something dramatically, which usually new standard sets like that don't really do. So for the foreseeable future, if you're interested in content of mine in Modern, I hope you're interested in Breach because that's what you're going to be getting here for uh, quite some time because it is, uh, in my opinion, the best deck. And I think this iteration is now its final form. Um, I really think Fable the Mirror Breaker is, is the card for this matchup instead of Shredder. I was already very much wanting to go up to 21 lands, but I, I still, three Shredders felt weird to me. So three Fables feels a lot more normal to me because I don't want to give up on Teferi. I don't want to give up on the third in the board. And honestly, against Murktide is probably the only matchup where I want three Fables and three Teferis in play because it's just a mid-range grind fest at that point where we can kind of combo them. There's some other matchups, I'm sure. Uh, Yawgmoth, actually, another one that I can think of where I'd want all six. And, uh, you know, but you it's still modern. Three drops are a little expensive. You got to look at Emery as a two drop at very most. Most of the time, a one drop. Sometimes free when you have a Mox. So, you know, picture these Emery's down lower in the curve um, if you can visualize that. So other than that, you know, same MO. Underworld Breach, Grinding Station, plus a zero drop and a legend in play. You're gonna sack that mox over and over while adding a blue. Mill yourself, mill yourself, mill yourself, eventually cast Thassa's Oracle. That's plan A of this deck. Plan B, you know, we got Urza Saga, plus Ragavand, now Fables, uh, as this fair kind of aggressive game plan where these constructs get pretty big. You end up generating a ton of treasure since we have, well, a Ragavand for chapter one here, pretty much. Sometimes better than a Ragavand. The fact that you don't have to connect and you still get a treasure, Sometimes is all you need to get that last white mana um, to then play Teferi and then combo off or something like that. Sometimes the Shaman is better than Ragavan. So that's also another gleaming uh, aspect of this. We're going to walk through all the things of fit that Fable can do in this deck since it's the main new thing. Chapter 2, great at looting away extra moxes, discarding grinding station since you basically never want that card in your hand. So chapter two is excellent at making sure you sculpt your hand, get rid of some redundancy, maybe an extra Ragavan if you already have one in play. And then chapter three is not great. You know, it's definitely the worst chapter, but usually my my kind of aspect when I'm evaluating Fable the Mirror Breaker, if two categories are good, the card is great. If three of them are good, the card is insane. You know, some examples of three ofs is when you play this in like Jeskai Luka. You know, chapter one, ramping you, and it's a Luka target uh, to transmogrify into Agent of Treachery. Excellent. Chapter two, looting away extra fires of inventions. Great. Chapter three, copying Agent of Treachery. Insane. The card's busted in that deck. Here, I think it's between two and three because chapter three does have some aspect. Copying the Shaman, pretty weak. It, they all do that. That's nothing special. But copying Construct tokens, where end step, copy a Construct, your turn, copy a Construct, that can be a lethal attack. So that's good enough for me. You know, the rest of our deck is Legends, so it doesn't copy those. So that is, that's less than ideal. But the fact that it throws Constructs as well, I think is good enough. So outside of, the, outside of that, the deck hasn't changed. I removed the Urza from the sideboard for another Aether Gust as far as my new changes, because I've been playing against Creativity and Amulet Titan a little bit more. But honestly, I mean, take a look at this, y'all. This is kind of insane. Um, this is my record with the deck, you know, since the client reset, but this is the first time I played it anyways. But you'll notice like 2-0, 2-0, 2-0, I lost one here, and then I lost one here to be 9-1 uh, and one in the modern challenge that I just won this last weekend. Uh, where I started 0-1, which was kind of cool, and then rattled off nine in a row. So 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 and 2. 22 and 2 right now. We're either going to be 22 and 3 or 23 and 2 after this. 
uh, depending on how this trophy match goes. But that's insane. You know, I mean, that's a ridiculous record. Fable the Mirror Breaker wasn't necessarily a key factor in all of them, but was definitely a key factor in at least four or five. You know, I remember my top eight uh, in this premier top eight. I won because of Fable against Merktide. Ledger Shredder would have been terrible. And there's a lot of time they're both bad. Um, you know, like against Hammer, I take them both out. Um, and there's a lot of times when Fable is just strictly better. So in my opinion, it is a better addition. Um, and, and I've been really liking exactly what my list is. I plan to keep it the same. So yeah, that's really all I got. We're playing a trophy match. So let's battle. Remember everyone, if you want to get this cyborg guide and, uh, your top 14 matchups plus article tips and tricks, uh, my patron below at the family tier or higher, will get you access to that. Okay. To the trophy match. Okay, well, I think I'm gonna keep, but this is definitely the low end of the keep. If I had a zero drop instead of one of these land, this hand would just be actively very good. But hey, I mean, trophy maps, let's try to figure out if Fable is good um, with this hand, but I'm gonna keep, it's the low end though. It's not amazing. If I had a zero drop instead of this though, it'd be excellent. Cause then we'd go Canal into Scalding Tarn, Emery, turn three Fable, and then do Saga stuff from there. But here, I don't even think we'll play Saga on turn two. Unless something weird happens. But I mean, if they have a Ragavan or something here for turn one, like we're pretty close to just dead. If they're Living End, if they're Rhinos, you know, any of those like really aggressive proactive decks, we could be in a lot of trouble. So this, this, could, this could end up being a mistake, but I think it's a close keep. Okay, now do we want to start with this or this? Um, I think I will start with this just to put a tap steam vent into play, thin our deck out just a little bit. All right, Porsche, what you got? Did our opponent say hello? Nope. Okay. I always feel bad when I ignore them. Ooh, is it burn? Okay. Okay, red, white, hammer, huh? Yeah, we could be dead very quickly. This could be a terrible hand. Because, I mean, Fable the Mirror Breaker, like I was saying, against hammer comes out where Ledger Shredder would as well. All right, here's our first example where I guess one Ledger Shredder would be better. Um, But I'm almost assuredly going to be playing Fable next turn anyways. So we're going to go like this and say go. Hopefully they hold back because probably, you know, they, they might just think we're Merktide right now. You know, next turn they're going to learn, but. But I am afraid. But I like this matchup post board, if anything. Um, gets a lot better for us. Yup. Pretty good. Yeah, this hand's probably a little too slow. It's now Fable. We could just be dead. But we have to play it. You know, it's nothing, nothing we're really going to do. All right. At least now, if we do live, we get to loot away some of these bad cards with Fable and kind of show the power of it. But, could just be dead. But if we're not dead, a play we do get to do is we could play our other Urza Saga, make a construct, then play Emery, and attack with Goblet Shaman. Obviously not in that order because we need the treasure. Um, you know, and then assemble some blockers if they don't have a way to get that Nexus equipped. Which I don't think there is a way right now to to kill us with poison. Like Paladin. They could go Paladin. Okay, no, no Paladin. But Paladin play Hammer Equip. That would have been devastating. Okay, if they don't have a way to equip right now, this is pretty not bad. Calder complete. Okay, so they can... Flash that into play almost no matter what next turn. I'm glad they didn't get that first. 
But now it's probably going to be getting close to where we just need to start looking for the combo, you know. Okay, well, step one. I would love to discard some cards. Okay, I think it's two lands. It's just which two lands? Do I want to keep Saga or do I want to keep Scolding Tarn? Steam Vents for sure is going. And the next consideration is maybe a Fable, but I, I think I am fine with Fable right now. It's just what do we want to do for a land? Do we even care to make Sagas? I don't think Sagas are actually going to do much for us. So if they're not going to do much, we can probably just discard the other one. All right, we win. <laughs> That's game. All this trouble of what to do in these corner scenarios, and then oh, I'll just draw the combo. The game's over. Can't possibly lose. And hey, I mean, Fable did some work for us here. It's ramping us. Honestly, okay, Fable kind of did everything here. It found us the combo. We needed this Shaman to attack to ramp because we have to go Breach, Grinding Station, and Emery to win. And it found us the zero drop. Yeah, I mean, we literally just drew the three cards we needed. The only way that could this could have been better if that was a Mox Amber, but it doesn't really matter. That was hilarious. Okay, so Emery doesn't cost one mana until we play this. That was hilarious. All right, so blue, uh, Emery now costs one. Okay, now breach. Now grinding station. And grind. Come on, grind with me. Relax your mind. Take your time with me. I'll stop singing. I promise. Opponent's going to make us do it because, well, they want to see the deck. She don't blame them. Doing this the slow way for now until we find Mox. Kind of can't screw up here. And it doesn't matter even if Mox is the bottom card or something. It, it, this time it doesn't matter since we have a, enough of a large graveyard, essentially. Okay, still haven't found it. Do, 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 do. Always yes. That's a one thing we're for sure going to do. Um, do, 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 do. There it is. We'll leave it to Fairy because I'm going to lock him out after we add enough blue. I'll then drum just to make sure they don't have a surgical. It's really all it could be at this point. Okay. They've been bonked. All right, now against Hammer, whatever version it may be, turn into combo control. You're going to hear me say that a lot if you watch a lot of my videos because there really is certain categories that you sideboard into. It's a good way to compart compartment compartmentalize uh, in your brain how you should sideboard in certain matchups when you just think like, okay, I this matchup's all about the combo. I'm like, Corey said to be in combo control during this. Then, you know, what I mean by that is you want all your combo pieces. You don't necessarily care about some of the aggressive plans as much and you just want to control them until you combo. That means Fables are bad, even though it looked amazing there. Teferi is bad. Um, and one Mox is bad. Regavan is still fine. They have Memnites, sure, but they usually take those out. Um, on the draw, we could take out one if we want another card. I could see maybe one to fairy. We have prismatic ending for all their hate cards. All these cards are amazing against them. Um, 
it just doesn't seem necessary. I think Ragavan is still better. You just kill your kill their creatures, you know? Some people take Ragavans out, like all of them on the draw against these style of decks. I leave them in, player draw. It's just that good of a game plan. Because their hits are awesome. You know, like we could hit Bobble. We could hit Esper Sentinel. You know, some of these cards that are really, really uh, impactful. This hand is not impactful. We essentially have five lands, uh, one combo piece, and then a dead card. So far too slow. So we're going to mulligan. This sounds good. We got removal. We got some Emery's. Emery usually doesn't die, so I think we can get rid of the other one. And then, yeah, turn one removal, turn two, Emery Bobble more than likely. Don't want to see my friend, Esper Sentinel. Don't mind that. Now, in this version... One thing you can do is always play your bobbles and stuff because you don't have to play around Shredder or anything. You know, you don't have to wait for Shredder because it's not in the deck. So we just do that. And just in case they play Asper Sentinel or Chalice, anything weird like that. So now whatever two drop they play, any of them we would kill. Stoneforge. Paladin, whatever. Then we'll go Emery. Still kind of a weak draw, but... Our Ottawara could be okay. We can always bounce a Saga. That's a cute little play. Can't kill that one. Okay. That's a problem. Not that big of a problem, but it's a problem. We cannot combo with that card in play. But we should be able to hit Delirium pretty easily with Emery here. But that is a, a tricky little card. I did see Jesse Robkin um, playing that in her sideboard as well this last weekend, which I think is pretty cool. Um... We just want to hit Delirium. That's all we really need. Three types and artifacts. One of them. That's not good. We can also Ottawara to bounce it, but yeah, land, instant. Yeah, that's a tilt. But we did hit Spell Bomb, which is important. All right, now if they want to play Stoneforge, they have to lose the value of their Saga. Isn't terrible for us. But yeah, something like an expressive iteration would be pretty cool. Just a sorcery to give us Delirium. Didn't hit a Breach or a Saga or anything, any of those tough to get types, which is unfortunate. Uh-oh. All right, and they get to get a hammer off this. We could be in trouble. Definitely be in trouble now that we do not have delirium. So we can't kill this and we can't use Emery. We can target it, but we can't bring them back, right? Don't want that. Could get wear tear, I guess. So I might want to go for blue white. Yeah, I should have just played Sacred Foundry, but if I get that last wear tear off this bobble draw, I'll feel bad. All right, well, we just have to say go and just hope we're not dead.
Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Shit. Well, we do have two pieces of interaction now. We could wear plus unholy heat, or we can just Ottawara bound something. I'd like to just use Ottawara if I can to be mana efficient, and then wear tear plus unholy heat next turn would be pretty strong. But we'll see what they do. This is those tricky spots of the game where it's like, we're not even close to comboing, so just this whole game is dictated to not dying. Just do not die, and maybe we can stay alive, you know? So we know they have hammer in hand, they cast this mystic. So on Stoneforge. So one way to stop this nonsense is to unholy heat the Stoneforge. And then when they go to cast second hammer in response, then I wear it. Otherwise, that line is kind of taken off the table. And I don't want to bounce that, so I kind of think I have to. All right, not in love with it. Dead to everything, you know. Dead to a wet breeze right now. Okay. So, I'm gonna be fine with this. Let that equip. And where... Where on this, that's the best we can do. That deals with the two hammers though. And we know they have a land, so they have two other mystery cards. Okay, die. Yeah. All right. We know they have a planes as well. As long as it's not an action card. Uh-oh. That's an action card. That's an action card. Okay. Uh. Now we need some things. Need that dead. Need like prismatic ending or something. We can stop one more turn essentially. Without being able to, if we could just bring back spell bomb, we'd be set. Okay, now we can get unholy heat at least. Ooh, well, that was exactly that. Um.
I might as well do it now. Then I could at least bring back a bobble. Otherwise, they're just going to recast it. Then we'll see what they draw. We might just be able to see that we're dead. Sweet. All right, we got a chance at this game. We've maneuvered it nicely to at least just give us hope. They screwed up by not having that Paladin equipped. They were right right away, but now they're drawing a land. We drew a brick. We need to top deck though, you know. We're not at parity. Might as well attack with your Ink Moth. Still don't have Delirium somehow. This mono white version, I think we might actually want to ferry though. The other one you don't because they have spell pierce, but this might actually be a good one for it. Tilt. But now they are, we do have the board locked down. We, we truly do because if they attack with both, we block Mem Knight, then we block this forever. So they need to top deck too. Basically, whoever's going to draw better off the top is going to win this, except we just have a lot of dead draws. Like Breach would be insane. This is actually shutting us down, so we have to deal with that first. That's going to be insane in a few turns. So we need a lot of stuff. The Dronith Magistrate is actually really annoying. Because it takes away our best draw, which is Breach. Okay. All right, now, honestly, a draw for us that is just great is... Well, we can't even Unholy Heat it. That's a tilt. Just a removal spell for this. Thassa's Oracle, huh? Well, I'll cast it. We have the spell bomb to bounce it at some point if we want a combo. Okay, expressive iteration is definitely the card. That gives us delirium. That's exact that was definitely our best draw the whole time. Alright, do we want to get froggy and attack? Really no point. But now we are dead in two turns. Because they can animate. Equip Ink Moth with the hammer that they find off this, and then kill us. Plus, the constructs will kill us. So, this expressive iteration has to be good. Eight to equip. All right, expressive iteration, show us the way. Breach and bobble. But we still need to have delirium. Breach would be insane right now, but we need to kill Droneth Magistrate. So I think we die. So we have to bobble. And we have to have a removal spell on top. Oh yeah, we can't even cast that off expressive iteration. Holy crap. Okay, well, we're dead. Can't cast spells. So we could put lands into play. All right. Oh yeah, that card messed us up. Absolutely wrecked us. Okay. Uh, we didn't draw our prismatic endings and stuff though. Roundup Magistrate is also good against Regavan. That is a problem. And they did keep in Memnites. Okay, I'm gonna go with one. Yeah, I don't wanna be drastic here. Could be one Emery instead though too.
Yeah, whatever. All right. Trying to trophy. It's not the worst. It's definitely not good. I think we got a mulligan. It's close. We're gonna keep, but this is also a tilter. I think I'm gonna get rid of Mox. And just hope we find white. They mulligan to six at least. I don't want to bobble myself to know if I want to take damage or not. Nah. Belt. All right, we're going to try to saga it up. I mean, we have the answer for that if we can just get white mana. Which Urza Saga does go get drum, so we'll have it eventually. Okay. Am I ending that? Ooh. Might not now. So they're gonna almost assuredly go Dranath Magistrate. So it's either ending this now or start get sagas going. Because the other ending has to go to Dranath Magistrate. So that that's just saying, am I cool with going ending turn one, ending turn two? and then play Saga, and I think I am. And we'll save the wear tear for a two for one. Yeah, that was actually quite good. Gonna have to try to just max out our value with Sagas as our win con so far, since we're nowhere near the combo. As far away from we it as we could be. I would like to trophy this. It's a pretty good tear target. Oh, wow. Doesn't even play it. That was good too. All right, I might just tear this. But dash Ragavan right now. I don't know what they could have, but. Guess they could have an answer to this. Uh, I'd rather they march that than this Regavan, so I'm fine with this. Now give me a march off the top. Uh, I guess, no, it would be good. Yeah, give me a march. March. Okay, so now the question is, what if they just go Dranath Magistrate? <laughs> then I will not be able to dash Regavan if I use the treasure. But if they just go... And that's what they're gonna do if I tear this saga. So I don't really want to put myself in that position. I'm not gonna tear it yet. I might go just Ragavan cast next turn, and then when they make a construct, wear tear the construct and the saga. Or I can prismatic ending the Dranath Magistrate and then Ragavan next turn. That's going to be my two sequences based on their two plays. 
Okay. So it looks like I'll be doing the Ragavan play. Yep. Cast Ragavan. Then we'll say go. I want to see what they draw. All right, we know those two cards. We know nothing. Okay, get to connect with Ragavan. I'd like a land. Ooh. So, oh, this is great. So I can either make a construct, be boring, then say go, or I can prismatic ending and then Emery. Seems quite good. And I get to keep connecting. Plus I hate this card. Please don't have a protection spell. No! Uh, ugh. All right, worst possible. It's all right, we do have the answer for it still in hand. We're missing out on the construct damage. I guess we can just get drum, but I gotta make one construct with that, I think. Mm-hmm. Don't be in equipment. Okay. All right, well, now we are just afraid of them popping off. Have to make a construct though, I think. Okay, well, that's not bad too. Construct plus drum allows us to have three mana and either Emery or Unholy Heat. I think we want an Emery. But not much we can do if they top deck Hammer or Stoneforge, sadly. Could think about Mox instead of Drum. Yeah, let's get a Drum. Okay, so now we do have the D. But I still think Emery is probably correct to start with. All right, we need a brick. Need a brick badly this turn. Oh, I think this game would have looked so much different if we just made a saga token there instead of tried to be aggressive and kill Dranith Magistrate. Because then more than likely they go Paladin Paladin. Maybe they go just one Paladin and hold up Blacksmith. Regardless, we could have made it better later, but okay, that's fine. We don't mind a ginger. We don't mind a cookie. That is A-OK. -okay. Now we start, we kill this and start bringing back bobbles and hope that that is enough. Let's see if they want to attack. They'll be very obliged to block. OK. 
Okay. That's pretty good. So, uh, white, blue, uh, fill this. Your bobble going. Now, I don't want to give away my Ragavan yet, but I'm pretty cool pressuring them. Need to end this game. Now, I want to bobble, see what they draw. Saga. That's not the best, but not the worst. Okay. We're doing it. We get to always know their top deck, so we get to know what we want to do. Yeah. Yeah, we get to know what we want to do before we attack with Ragavan, too. That's the important part. It's definitely turning back in our favor, but they're one good draw step away here. Can't get cute or anything. Okay, so now it's probably Bobble to start, and then we'll look at their top. If it's bad, we probably won't attack with Ragavan. If it's good, we might want to attack with Ragavan. Memnite. I don't care if they have a Memnite. So if that's the case, am I okay with them having Memnite plus Saga? Or I could bounce Saga and lose to Fairy. The construct is annoying. So delaying that a turn could be cool, but I think it's just ending er expressive time. Oh. We have any grinding stations? No, but I mean just having a breach here seems insane. I need mana. That was a really bad one. Okay. I probably just want to Emery. I'm looking like I just want to hit a Mox. I could attack right now. I'm cool if they block. One less threat. Now, I still think I want to Emery here. Just want to hit a Mox. Yeah, I did not. Land. Okay. So we have one grinding station on the bottom, one in exile, and there's one somewhere in the deck what we need to win. So we might just go with a game plan of just kill everything you play. We know they just drew Memnite. They can Saga. We can bobble them first to make sure their top is, if their top isn't scary, then whatever, you know. We can cast a Ragavan. We just gotta play defensively. Unless we top deck Grinding Station, then they're dead. Combo control. We're not trying to attack them. Okay. Let's 
This could just be a Teferi time. I'm going to start with Bobble, see what they're drawing. If it's nothing too scary, then we don't have to worry too much. Hammer, but they cannot equip it. So, yep, that's no big deal. Maybe it's just Teferi tick up. They're gonna make some constructs. Three, three, four, four. There are gonna be like five fives. Do I wanna bounce this? Is the real question. I actually think I do. Because I can wear tear it next turn. And then they only get one construct out of the deal, and then, yeah, it's gone next turn. We might get close to the point where I can just Galv Blast them out. That was sick. Okay, we'll say go. That was super sick. Now I can kill a artifact in combat. All right, we gotta play a little faster. I just noticed the clock, but we should have this. As long as we don't screw up. Now they have the hammer. I actually wanted that Teferi to go away, I think. Okay, let's take a peek what they're drawing. A land, we don't care, so we're not afraid of them. I can wear tear this, and they're just top decking a land. Yeah, white. Use this, this. Now we can win next turn for sure with Galv Blast. Yeah, we can just Galvanic Blast them three times if this connects. Level myself. I don't want to draw that. What is that other card in hand? Oh yeah, it's hammer, that's right. Okay, we do need another red source to win with Galv Blast, unless we connect for four, which we can do. Okay, we win. We needed them to attack. Breach. Mox.
Okay. Galvanic Blast. Galvanic Blast. Attack for four. Gal Blast better than Bolt. Confirmed. Combo. Attack. <laughs> Trophy! Trophy match! We did it! We did it! Why won't it let me do that? Dang it. Okay. We did it! All right, y'all. 23 and 2 over the over this weekend with Fable Breach. I think it's the next final form. I don't think I'm gonna be changing a card for quite a while now. Um I, I just think this deck is perfect right now, the way it is. So if you want to check it out, I got a sideboard guide for it. Uh, in the patron, for anybody who is looking at it right now, I haven't had a chance to change the Shredders and Fables, but they come in and out in the same matchups, except Red Black Scam. So if you're checking out the guide, um, leave Fable the Mirror Breaker in where the guide would say to take out Shredders. Uh, Shredders are bad against them. Fable's insane. As well as Yawgmoth. If I take out any Shredders, don't take those out because Fable's insane against them too. It's the future of Breach. Uh, I think it's amazing. And I think uh, my record's kind of speaking for it. And, uh, you know, some of these videos are just kind of explaining it. Breach is the best deck in Modern. This version, I think, is the best deck. One card I want to try is Jesse was playing Dranath Magistrate. I think that card's interesting, but a lot of it... My concern with it is the removal still stays in in the mirror, um, and uh, it doesn't seem amazing to me. So this is the list that I recommend so far, and uh, you be the judge. Try it out for yourself. There's a Mana Traders link below if you want to rent the deck from Moto Traders or from Mana Traders as well. So thank you so much for watching, everyone. I'll see you in November because I'm off to go commentate the World Championship at Magic 30. And I won't be back till then where we're going to start playing a lot of Pioneer and the video should be picking up quite a bit. So all right, everyone. You have a good one. See ya.